World War II in Korea, in Vietnam, in Desert Storm, in Iraq and Afghanistan, and to all those who served in peacetime to prevent future wars, thank you for your service. Now, I just got back from Washington, and we have a lot of trouble there, as you know. There's a lot of fighting and all of that. But the one thing we came together on yesterday and passed in the Senate 99 to nothing was a job credit and job training for our returning vets so they might find employment when they come back here. And for those who doubt the greatness of America, with all the internecine war and fighting in Washington, we come together and stop with the politics and start with the patriotism when it comes to our veterans, and that still happens, and praise God that it does. So I would like to say to all of you who have served us, and I'm so proud to be on the stage with so many distinguished people, but I want to mention that I am so proud that General Petraeus, a great leader, who I've talked to here and at West Point and in Iraq, is a New Yorker from Cornwall. General Od Odierno spent a little time in New York. He's almost a New Yorker. He's from New Jersey. So, but I do want to say this, and I want to thank our committee and Vince and everybody else who makes this day the wonderful day that it is, and I think this is a great new setting, and I hope we continue it inside the park. But the greatness of America started, started when the farmers put down their plows and took up muskets to defend our freedom at Bunker Hill. And throughout the 200 and some odd years of this great country's history, we have had men and women over and over and over again who are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice to protect our country. The day we forget them is the day that the sun sets on America. But as long as we remember them, we know that our country will stay free, will stay strong, and will stay the greatest country in the world. God bless our veterans, and God bless everybody here today. Thank you.